the show, I Married Joan, America's favorite comedy show, starring America's queen of comedy, Joan Davis, as Mrs. Joan Stevens. And featuring Jim Backus as Judge Bradley Stevens. Home. You're right. We both look like we're still in a wire. Hello, Clara! Hello, Joan! We're back! I'm glad to see you. Where were you? Uh, we... Uh, I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> I think we were Alaskers. Hi. Uh, we... Uh, oh, thanks. You saved my life, you wonderful man. You. Well, think nothing of it, dear. Boy, it's great getting home, isn't it? Oh, it sure is. Like I always say, the best part of a vacation is coming home so you can get a good rest. Well, we've got a lot of unpacking to do. Might as well get at it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, boy! Oh, did you miss us, you poor thing? Nobody sat in you for two whole weeks. That feel better? Go. Coming, Brad. Oh, Brad, you turned the radio on. The music sounds good. It's been sounding good for two weeks. Brad, you're not making sense. Oh. I forgot to turn it off when we left. I remember I was waiting to hear the weather report. Should I pack my Snuggies? Shouldn't I pack my Snuggies? Uh, Joan, this radio has been playing in this empty house for two weeks. Oh, the poor thing. And now stand by for the local weather report. Now he tells me. Well, should I have packed my Snuggies or shouldn't I? There'll be local frost in the valley and... Joan, I don't... Oh, have... Brad, please, don't be angry. <laughs> well, all right, dear. Say I'm hungry. How about something to eat? Sure, dear. I'll fix you a sandwich. Oh, we can unpack later. Yes. Huh? Oh, my, no, do you remember? Say, let's make this a real spread, huh? Oh, sure, dear. It isn't every day that we get home from the Hawaiian Islands. There you are. Let's do things right. I'll get a pie from the freezer. Oh, oh wipe the key. Oh, 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 the hula, on we go. And the gold moon. Hmm? What's wrong, dear? Joan, when we left on our vacation two weeks ago, you said you'd lock the back door. Yes, I did. It isn't locked. I'll go lock it. No, dear, that, that isn't necessary, Joan. We're, we're home now. Well, I can't understand it. I distinctly remember... Yes? ...not locking the door. Is there anything else that uh, you've forgotten? No, dear. I, I took care of everything else. You are sure? I'm positive. All right, dear. Hello? Oh, hello, Vi. Did you get my card? Yes, we just got in. Oh, we had a wonderful time in Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii. You would have just loved it. Everything there is so Hawaiian. Uh, Hawaiian. Oh, I'm telling you, we had a vacation of our lives. Yes, and it was a beautiful time of the year. Oh, and the, and, well, the people are so friendly. I think everybody should make that trip. <laughs> yes, yeah, what? Bridge tonight with the girls? Oh, I couldn't do that and leave Brad the first night home. Listen, I got a better idea. We took a lot of 16 millimeter film the first few days we were over there, and uh, we sent them home to be developed. I'm sure they're in the mailbox right now, and I'd like you and the girls to come over here instead. Would you? Listen, will you see some of these shots? <laughs> Over here 
Yes, what? You forgot to tell the milkman to stop the milk. Yeah. How do you like that? They're one quart short. You think that... Joan, I... I'm going to get the mail. Oh, you know, I didn't even open that bag. It was some warm clothes I took along, but the weather was so wonderful, I didn't even have to unpack it. Well, you'll have plenty of chance to use these things here. Don't let the Chamber of Commerce hear you say that. Well, well, here's the mail. Bills, bills, bills. Letter from your father, that's the same as a bill. And, oh, yes, yes, uh, here are the movies that we made in Hawaii. Oh, good, I knew they'd be here. I'm going to have the girls over tonight to see these movies. I'll do a real good job of cleaning the house. I can't understand it. It, uh, it should be here. What's that, Brad? An answer to an opinion I gave on the Brighton case. The Brighton case? Well, yes, you remember. You didn't agree with my opinion. You thought Brighton was innocent. I don't quite recall. Well, of course you remember, dear. We had quite an argument. You told me I was wrong up until the time I gave you the opinion to mail for me. I did? Well, sure. Don't you remember mailing it? It was in a manila envelope about so big. Well, of course I mailed it. If I said I did it, I did it. After all, I wouldn't forget anything as important as... Uh... How big did you say that envelope was, Ray? About that big. About that Joan, Joan, what is this? What's what? Joan. Now, Brad, dear, I, I know exactly what you're going to say, and I couldn't agree with you more. You're absolutely right. It was stupid of me. I, I should have mailed it, but I forgot. I don't think you forgot at all. You see, I should have taken it immediately, and then I... What? I think you deliberately didn't mail it. Oh, Brad, how can you say that? Because you didn't agree with my opinion on the Brighton case. You were against me all along. Yes, dear, but I wouldn't... Do Look, dear, I, I can put up with a lot of things, but when you deliberately interfere with my now, work... Brad, I didn't do it deliberately. I simply forgot. Oh, Joan, don't make me laugh. Why, Brad, where are you going? I am going to stay at my club. For how long? I don't know. Oh, Mrs. Stevens. Don't worry. The judge is pretty hot right now. But he'll come back when he cools off. Just wait. But I don't want to wait. He's my Brad and hot or cold. I want him now. Brad? I hate to suggest this, but maybe you want to swallow your pride and call the judge up at the club. Me? Call Brad? Seems sensible. You mean I should call him and ask him to come home? Plead with him? Beg him? Even though I know I'm right and he's wrong? Mm-hmm. Nothing doing. Besides, I just tried it and it didn't work. <laughs> well, I better get that movie thing out if the girls are coming over. Thanks, Frida. I'll, I'll try to think of something to tell them. Frida, maybe that's Brad now. Maybe he's called up to apologize. Wouldn't that be wonderful? My troubles are over with the girls now. Want me to answer the phone? What for? He's already apologized. Everything's straightened out. Oh, the food. <laughs> Hello, Brad. No, this isn't Brad, Mrs. Stevens. This is Desmond Palmer. Desmond Palmer? Oh, Judge Palmer. Yes. Uh, is Brad there? Well, no, he isn't here right now, but I can tell you where you can reach him. He's at the men's club. Oh, thanks. Uh, I have some good news for Brad, Mrs. Stevens. Good news? Yes, I've decided to retire from the bench next month, and... Uh, I've been asked to recommend a successor. It would be a real advancement for Brad, Mrs. Stevens. Oh, that is good news. Uh, which court is that? The Court of Domestic Relations. Oh, the Court of... Do do uh, uh, domestic Relations? Yes, you see, it's my theory that the best man for this position is a man whose own private domestic life is smooth and untroubled. I know that you and Brad are an ideal couple. Well mated in perfect accord with never a disagreement. Right, Mrs. Stevens? I mean... Well, I'll call Brad at the club now. Oh, listen, uh, uh, Judge Palmer, I was wondering if you'd do me a favor, please. Why, well, certainly. What is it? Well, when you speak to Brad, don't tell him that you spoke to me first. I want him to be able to surprise me with the news himself. Oh, that's very considerate of you, Mrs. Stevens. It makes me surer than ever that Brad is the man for the Court of Domestic Relations. Goodbye, Mrs. Stevens. Goodbye, Judge Palmer. 
Mrs. Stevens, if you're so worried about the girls coming over, why don't you let me tell them you don't feel well? Oh, forget it, Frida. Forget it? Yep. In exactly 35 minutes, my wandering rooster is going to be back in the hen house. <laughs> Mrs. Stevens, I don't know how you could be so sure the judge is coming back. Because I know my husband, and there isn't anything he wouldn't do in the world to get that job in the domestic relations court. And if there was the slightest whisper that his own domestic life wasn't absolutely perfect, they wouldn't even consider him at all. Let's see, uh, Judge Palmer must have called him about... Um, go at the door, Frida. Open it. <laughs> I give up. If it isn't his honor, the wandering judge. May, uh, may I, uh, come in? <laughs> come in. Yeah. But you'll have to excuse me. I've got to get these films of the trip ready. I'm having some guests over. Uh, Joan. Yes, Brad. Uh, uh, Joan, I, uh... Yes, Brad. Well, uh, uh, about the, the argument, Joan. Yes, Brad. Well, I want to patch it up. You see... Uh, yes, Brad? Well, I, I've been thinking it over. I ought to go halfway and, uh... Yes, Brad. Well, what do you say, Joan? Brad? Yes, Joan. No, Brad. <laughs> Didn't you just get a call from Judge Palmer at the club? Yes. He wants to recommend me to succeed him in domestic relations court. Mm -hmm. That's why you came home to make up with me, isn't it? No, that's not so. His call caught me in the, in the lobby. I was on my way home when he, when he phoned. I, I even asked him to meet me here. Oh, really, no. <laughs> no, Joan, honestly. Honestly, that, that's the truth, Joan. You, you, you've you got to believe me. That... <laughs> you expect me to believe a story like that when you wouldn't even believe a true story that I forgot to mail the envelope? Oh, look, I, I know why you didn't mail the envelope. Be, because you because you didn't agree with my political opinions. <laughs> That is not true. But I know why you came home. You didn't want Judge Palmer to know that we quarreled. That's not so, but I'm not going to argue the matter. That suits me fine. Well, I'm sorry I came home. I'm not shooting off any cannons. Well, that settles it, Joan. I am going back to the club. Well, that must be the girls. Maybe it's Judge Palmer. Look, Brad, I don't want the girls to suspect there's anything wrong between us. And you feel the same way about Judge Palmer. All right make a deal with you. Let's hide our feelings. Until after they leave. <laughs> Good evening, Mrs. Stevens. Oh, Judge uh, Palmer, come in. Hello, Bradley, my boy. Oh, Judge, here, let me uh, take your thing. Oh, oh, oh thank you. I'll put them right down here. Uh, how are you? Uh, oh, splendid. Thank you, Mrs. Stevens. And I'm happy to say that uh, I have some more good news. I've already spoken to the Board of Supervisors and when I told them that my choice was Bradley Stevens, they were delighted. Oh, say that. That's good news, <laughs> isn't it, Joan? Great. Great! Great to know this. Well, I, I, I'll bet you were so proud of your husband that you could just throw your arms right around him and give him a great big kiss. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, 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 go ahead, kids. Don't mind me. No, it can wait. Yes, it can wait, no. you know. Oh, for heaven's sake, don't be so shy. <laughs> Come yeah. on, this is a big moment for both of you. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Spirit, just what the court of domestic relations needs. A happily married man. <laughs> oh, that must be the girls. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was Now that you all know one another, so what you Well, come on, we're just dying to see those pictures of Hawaii. Oh, yes, you Hawaii, can. you lucky kids. Oh, you must be the happiest couple. Oh, they are. I can vouch for that. <laughs> well, uh, shall we see the pictures? Oh, yeah, I'll set to see the pictures. Oh, no, I came just in time. I'd like to see those pictures of Hawaii, too. Oh, well, look at chair for yeah. the judge. There we are. Yeah, oh, right, thank you. Judge. Down there. Yes. Oh, there we are. <laughs> all set, darling. All set, lover. <laughs> <laughs> 
boat now. <laughs> See, they're going to they're gonna gaff it. That's the big hook they got to gaff it. Oh, gee. Oh, I'll oh, bet it's a little fish. Oh, well, I it, know that you, joke. You put up your big pipe and come in with a sardine. Oh. Here he goes. Nice Look over see? the boat, maybe you can see it. Oh, oh I you know. Know. and I caught him all myself. Oh, what a beautiful oh, color they are. Uh, and did you notice the long sword on him? Oh, you're going to have him stuffed, Joe? Oh. Well, I was going to take him to the taxi, Dermis, but I couldn't get him in the taxi. I to see Hawaii, but it looks like Hawaii saw me. <laughs> Don the Beach Combers. You've heard of that, John. Oh, yes, yay. Don the Beach Combers, a wonderful eating place. Oh, and tropical that. food, tropical drinks and everything. That, we're at a luau. Uh, who's yeah. that? Uh, that's Don the Beach Combers. Oh, handsome. Isn't he? Uh, he's offering me the uh, a native specialty toy. <laughs> I've often wondered what it tastes like. Oh, you eat it with your fingers? Well, that isn't very sanitary. There isn't a germ that could stay alive in that stuff. <laughs> Johnny, uh, I ducked it when he didn't see. <laughs> but being the perfect host, he offered me more. Uh, uh, what does toy taste like? Like nothing you ever taste. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. Well, you're a good sport. Oh, 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 here I am on a surfboard. That's really me now, too. Oh, see, there's, oh, 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 there's Charlie. For the way. Oh, he's on Brad, 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 was in the uh, outrigger canoe taking the picture. That's the I was taking the picture. Oh, oh yes. there I well, am looking. Joe, well, it really isn't oh. that dangerous? Well, it is for me. I can't swim. Well, Brad jumped in, clothes and all. Oh, oh, oh you're a hero, Brad. Well, I wouldn't say that. Johnny, huh? <laughs> I think the pictures were just wonderful. Oh, well, this has yes. certainly been an interesting evening, Mrs. Well, Stevens. such a nice time. Oh, oh, I'm glad you enjoyed Next it. summer, I'm going to make Frank take me to Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> I know it's your first night home, and you must be very tired from the trip. So we'll just amble along. Yes, let's do that. Good night, Judge. Good night. 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 I must say, you are the happiest married couple I know. Well, you. Uh, have to work at it, you know. <laughs> we make a point never to quarrel. <laughs> well, good night, Mrs. Stevens. Good night, Judge Bradley J. Stevens of the Domestic Relations Court. <laughs> good night. Now, let me tell you. Now, you, when you made a fool of me, well, I the fool. I just <laughs> forgot my big oh, kiss. Judge, it's perfectly all right. <laughs> Happiest couple I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch the pictures again.